You can't leave what happened in Kansas City alone. You can't have these families with these young guys had their whole lives in front of them. And there's just no answer. And the authorities aren't saying anything. I respect the authorities doing things the right way. But according to one of the guys uh, involved here, his attorney, they don't expect foul play. Then why don't you give the family some answers? So these three men in Kansas City, you know the story, they were found frozen to death in their buddy's backyard in a way that we haven't heard before, by the way, which you're gonna hear in a moment. But no gunshot, no stab wound, no ligature, meaning nobody had strangled them, apparently, okay? So they send it out for an autopsy in toxicology. They say eight weeks. Eight weeks, you can't bury, you can't mourn, you can't know. The families want answers. So we keep doing the story. And not to hype about it, because we can only know what is shown, all right? The family knows what these guys were about and what they were doing and who this friend was to them. Let's bring in the brother of Ricky Johnson, one of the deceased. We had his father on last week. Jonathan Price is his name, and he joins us now. Jonathan, I am sorry for your loss. Thank you, Chris. So how's the family holding up with the unknown? Uh, it's the same every day um, with, you know, the the lack of answers, um, you know, the the inability to really truly mourn um, without any form of cause. Um, it, it's, it's just very difficult. Uh, I don't think I'll ever move on until, I mean, really, I'll never move on, but especially not knowing what happened to my brother. Um, that's, and I'm not one of these people that tries to speculate and stuff like that, but um, I just want, I want ideas out there. I want to be, uh, involved more. Um, you know, my mother, Ricky's father, they want to be involved more and we're just not getting answers from anybody, even the people that claim they're doing the investigation. So is it true that you guys have been trying to get the police to tell you what's happening and that they are not in communication with you? That's correct. Is there any reason, is there yep. some protocol in Kansas City I'm not aware of where they're not allowed to interface with the families of victims of crimes? Because usually that's like the main interface. Yes, and you would think so, um, you know, especially with something like this. And I'm not saying there was, was or was not a crime, but if you immediately suspect no foul play, then you should have a story. You should have something to tell the families and for no one to hear anything um, that, you know, that doesn't make any sense. And I think that's one of the right. main reasons why this is, this is getting so big. So two things that you've said that I haven't heard before. One, you seem to know something about where these men were found that I haven't heard. What information do you have about specifically where they were in the backyard and how they were situated? Well, I don't have firsthand knowledge, um, but I have heard because uh, as being a brother, I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at everything anybody posts, whether it's, you know, information I feel is useful or information I don't feel is useful. But information right. I did well, find Well, you also know um, who found was, them, right? I mean, they were found, they were found yeah. by, a fa you know, an extended family member. So you guys are in contact. So go ahead, tell, tell the audience. Yeah, so um, uh, I believe David uh, was found in a lawn chair on the back porch. Um, rather than all three laying flat, uh, which definitely uh, paints a picture we did not have uh, from the very beginning. Um, and, you know, it, it, it definitely brings up some questions that you would have, uh, you know, especially with somebody that I don't care who you are, where you live, if it's snowing outside, you're looking at how bad it's getting, uh, especially if you have any type of responsibilities of leaving your house in any way, shape or form. It doesn't matter if you work from home, you got to leave sometime. Um, and from his lawyer, we don't know if he left or not, because he started out saying that he left the home sporadically throughout the day. Uh, and then another one where he was home for 50 hours with no leaving right. the and house they had or looking cars. out a window. And, and there yes. were cars outside in front. And yeah. you have a feeling that an intoxicant was involved and you know your brother and this is not a judgment thing. I don't care how he liked to spend his free time. It's, it's not what this is about. You believe that the answer here lies in something that your brother didn't know he was taking. 
Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I don't even speculate on what my brother has or has not done in the past, because uh, that wouldn't be firsthand knowledge of mine either. I just know that my brother was a good man. He loved his daughters to death. He absolutely had future plans to be a father to them for the rest of their lives, and he would not jeopardize that. So that's mm -hmm. it just doesn't make any sense. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.